music we play is geared for you to think. So for those of you who don't think too much, I'm just telling you about that shit before we drop it on you. Hi everyone, Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot. This time I'm going to unbox, review, and par test a different style of LED grow light than what I typically review. It's a high intensity, 330 watt top light from Total Grow. While this is designed for greenhouses, its intensity and spectrum make it the perfect LED grow light for indoor grow rooms and grow tents. You would need two top lights to flower a 4x4 area or even up to a 5x5 area. One light is best for a 2x4 flower area or a 25 by 5 foot area at maximum. So I hope you enjoy watching these videos as much as I like making them. If you're interested in having your brand of LED grow light reviewed, see a link to our advertising packages in the description. Alright, let's get to unboxing this top light, turning it on, setting it up, and measuring its PAR output. The Total Grow top light comes discreetly shipped in a long, plain cardboard box. Opening up the box here, we see that it is well packed. There are a few cardboard pieces here to keep things from moving around. And the first thing in here is a power cord and a dimming cable. So this is a dimming cable, zero to 10 volts. That's optional. And the power cable, it is a 120 volt plug. And this is the end that plugs into the light. Also comes with some installation instructions on how to hang it, how to daisy chain it, how to hook it up. Okay, let's dig in. The top light is only 40 inches by seven inches by five inches wide, and it weighs 13 pounds. It is a bar style light with a thin form factor and designed to hang up in greenhouses to deliver high intensity lighting while minimizing shading. The full spectrum PCB is attached to a large passively cooled aluminum heat sink which makes up most of the fixture. On top of the heat sink sits an encased Meanwell driver. On each side of the driver box there are quick connect waterproof power receptacles for daisy chaining 4 to 8 lights depending on voltage application in addition to quick connect waterproof 0 to 10 volt dimming receptacles for controlling the light intensity. After unboxing the light and connecting the 6.5 foot 120 volt NEMA 515 power cord, the fixture is ready to hang via the attached hooks and plug and play. The high intensity top light will replace around a 500 to 600 watt HPS at half the energy draw and with a better spectrum. The Total Grow top light is designed in the United States by Jeff M, a biologist from Total Grow. This fixture comes with a five-year manufacturer's warranty, is ETL certified for commercial grow applications, and is IP65 wet rated. The top light comes in at 2.3 micromoles per joule when measured in an integrating sphere. This is considered a very good efficacy in late 2018 and means that a lot of the power that is going into the diodes is coming out as light with little heat exuded into the grow environment. The light output of this fixture clocks in at 760 micromoles per second. The fixture does not have any switches, it is either on or off. However, it is dimmable down to 10% light output with a dimming cable, dimmer not included. The Total Grow top light only draws 330 watts at the wall and as mentioned will replace up to 600 watts of HID lighting. When ran on 115 volts, the top light draws 2.9 amps, and when ran on 230 volts, it draws 1.43 amps. 277 volt applications will use 1.16 amps. The Total Grow top light emits a full spectrum from deep blue to near infrared. There are wavelength peaks at about 440 nanometers and 660 nanometers. The 440 nanometer peak is 20% less of the 660 nanometer peak. This means that the fixture will produce excellent quality flowers while providing a photosynthetically efficient 660 nanometer wavelength to help drive yields. The single spectrum is ideal for seedling to harvest growth. And there's no UV in the spectrum, and while not required for good quality growth and flowers, if you'd like to add that into your space, I would consider supplementing with a separate UV LED or fluorescent fixture. The 760 micromole per joule light output suggests that this fixture is best used in a 2x4 area or slightly larger when flowering plants that require a lot of light, such as medicinal plants, 
tomatoes, peppers, etc. Two of these fixtures is ideal for a 4x4 to 5x5 foot space. When flowering, it is recommended that this fixture is used about 18 inches to 24 inches above the plants. And if you were to veg with these lights, you can cover up to a 7 foot by 7 foot area at about 36 inches to 48 inches above the plants with two of these lights. It's always a good idea to start the lights at a higher height and bring them down as the plants acclimate. Alternatively, you can keep them in the same spot if you are using the dimming functionality. Here's an example of how the dimming would be used in a home grow setup using a 0 to 10 volt dimmer with a supplied dimming cable. When the dimmers dim down all the way, the lights get significantly dimmer, down to about 10%. Now the camera is adjusting for the light intensity here, so it'll get a little bit brighter. I highly suggest using a dimmer for these lights if you're growing seedlings or vegging in a 4x4 or 5x5 space. If you're considering using this fixture for other purposes, such as lower intensity applications or supplemental lighting, consider pausing the video to take a look at this chart. The chart will help you determine the approximate spacing and hanging height for different growing applications. I took some PAR measurements of the 330 watt top light in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow Tent at different distances. Disclaimer: Keep in mind that this is only one light in a 4x4 tent. You would need two lights in a 4x4 area for the best results. A second light will also increase the PAR readings that you'll see in these measurements. Let's see those PAR readings now. The first measurement is going to be taken at 36 inches above the bottom of the tent. We're at about 390 ppfd. Just moving the PAR meter off to the side of the tent, right around 300 ppfd. Just trying to angle the PAR meter in a little bit to capture that incoming light. And into the corner about 280. So for one light in a 4x4, this is pretty good par. Again, keeping in mind that two lights would significantly increase these numbers and you'll get more even coverage. So the second reading is going to be at 24 inches above the bottom of the tent, right around 640 ppfd. Now we're starting to get into flower territory, so you can definitely flower at these intensities. And then on the edge, right around 300 or just above 300, and into the corner, 280. Just coming in on this side, 440, a little bit more, maybe like 460, and back to the center. I'm just going to move the par meter around, see what sort of... Uh, uniformity we're getting. So pretty good for one light. Just want to keep emphasizing that two of these lights in a 4x4 is ideal and you're going to get some really good numbers. And lastly, 18 inches above the bottom of the tent. So just below a thousand. So 915 ppfd. We're going to have the lowest uniformity with this height. And into the edge, 330 ppfd, and into the corner, about 260, and this close edge, just under 600. So really impressed with the ppfd readings of this light. Just going to move it around a little bit. Really good intensity directly underneath the light. Of course, it's going to drop off as you move to the sides of the light. But two of these lights in a 4x4, you get really even coverage, really good intensity on the edges and into the corners. The Total Grow Top Light retails at $849, but is available for $764.10 at LED Grow Lights Depot. Check out the product page in the description for additional discounts in the cart or checkout. In summary, this 330 watt top light is an exceptionally built, silent LED grow light with high light output, excellent efficacy, an ideal full spectrum, and a 5 year warranty. It's waterproof and can be used for commercial growing per its ETL rating. 
The long form factor allows a modular lighting layout, so whether you're growing in a 2x4, 4x4, 4x8 space, or large grow room, or commercial grow, this light is right for you. View the product link in the description to learn more or purchase this fixture, and show your support for these reviews by giving this video a thumbs up and posting a comment below. If you want to see more LED grow light reviews and other LED grow light content, subscribe with a button on the left or below. See you soon.